Welcome back in. Eating healthy, it's not always easy, and in some places there may not be healthy options to choose from. And that's where the Toledo Lucas County Health Department is stepping in. Stephanie Baltes is a registered dietitian with the health department. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about this healthy corner, sto corner store initiative you have going on. Yep, so the Toledo Lucas County Health Department is in partnership with the city of Toledo. Uh, we are using funds from the ARPA money to work with corner stores within the city of Toledo to bring in healthy foods um, to their community. Mm -hmm. So we have set up a program where we are going to be working with these corner stores to bring in healthy food. They can do, we can do marketing with them. Mm -hmm. We can offer equipment to be able to provide the healthy food, whether it's refrigeration, freezer, produce stands. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have a lot going on and we're yeah. pretty excited about it. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the food deserts mm -hmm. in, in our community because we do hear a lot in different neighborhoods. Sometimes the only thing they have is that little corner store and it might be Slim Jims, mm -hmm. it might be chips, you know, yeah. that's what, what families might be selecting. Yep, so Lucas County and specifically the city of Toledo has a very high poverty rate, high in food insecurity rate. Um, we have over 16% um, households receiving SNAP benefits, which is about 5% higher than the national average. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a definite need within the city of Toledo. Um, we also unfortunately have a low vehicle access area, so a lot of our community members may not be able to travel, you know, to go get that healthy food. Mm -hmm. um, going outside of a mile is just not feasible. So we're working, we're looking to work with those corner store owners to bring it to where our community members are. Mm -hmm. And that's what's gonna be important is just bringing it into those communities so they can, you know, if they need to after school, kids go grab some healthy options. Um, or if, you know, someone's on the way home from work and gonna make a meal and they need extra fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. they can stop in and pick it up. Um, so that's our goal is to bring in the healthy, affordable, nutritious foods. Yeah, you might go, oh, I need mm -hmm. this ingredient yep. to make this recipe and I just don't have it. And, mm -hmm. you know, then you're like, okay, well, I guess we're eating out of a box, mm -hmm. you know, or yep. whatever instead. So um, how can corner, sto corner stores, are they going to be able to go to you and say, hey, um, we need some funding to get this going? And how, how does that process work? Yep. So with this program, we have worked over the last few months creating a notice of funding availability, which is kind of like a grant proposal mm -hmm. um, that can be found on the Lucas County Health Department website. We created an application. So our application is live. It began June 17th and it's going to go to July 31st. Okay. Um, so corner store owners, if they are interested in submitting an application, we accept it in a paper format and they can turn it into the health department or we also made it an online application. Um, so they can do it that way. It also is translated into Spanish and Arabic as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they have until July 31st to apply to the program. Um, we have committee members who will be doing a blind review to make it equitable and fair. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, we will contact six corner stores and work with them. The six corner stores are eligible up to $20,000 in funding, wow. which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll get to work with me for the next two years. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be bringing in a lot of like community partners, a lot of community engagement, a lot of nutrition education. So kind of to your point, if someone's run running in and they, you know, see the healthy food, I'm going to try to have recipes there so they can also know what to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're also looking to provide food demonstrations. Um, so it's going to be a very robust program that will incorporate the community um, to really try to, you know, make Lucas, Lucas County and the city of Toledo healthy. Yeah, wonderful. And so when can, you know, people in the neighborhoods expect these to be up and running for them? So we're hoping by the start of the January 2025, I'm hoping to really begin working with the corner store owners. Um, I know that every convenience store and corner store is very different in their needs. So that's where I'm going to work closely with the corner store to see, you know, what what is it that you want? How do you want to serve your community? How can I bring it in? I also do a lot of community engagement to see, well, what do what you, you want? want? You know, I you know I want to bring in fruits and vegetables that the community wants to cook with, mm -hmm. um, you know, and just really create that program for them. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing this all roll out, and um, we appreciate what the uh, health department is doing to help make our community. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for being here today.